Minister in the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting and Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canneries, MP Honorable Dominique Fede has donated $10,000 to one of the members of his constituency, who recently lost her house to a fire. Fede says he was deeply moved by the family's loss. It's a very emotional moment for me. This is one of my favorite constituents. And I was actually um, overseas on national duty and was scheduled to arrive the day after when I got this WhatsApp video that our house went up in flames. Mm -hmm. And it was such a horrific shock for me um, that I fell out of the chair at the meeting I was in because I couldn't believe that this had happened to someone I know so well and so close. So again, I offer my sympathies to you and to your children. And um, we stand with the village council of ancillary to build this house that you've had bigger, better, and stronger. Okay, so that is our promise. And this is our first contribution. Minister Fede says that rebuilding the family's house will be a group effort. The monies are going to go to building materials and we also are harnessing the skills of the tradesmen. So when you look at the in-kind contribution, it is quite significant as well, in addition to the, the cash. So I think that um, you can add another 10,000 in terms of in-kind contribution, um, members of the community, tradesmen that will be coming together to assist in the rebuilding effort. But um, we really want to get this family back on track. They're a very good family of ancillary, very decent people. Uh, the kids are exceptional. In fact, one of her daughter um, did uh, uh, represent ancillary in the Miss Independent pageant, so they are outstanding citizens of the community. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Alan Michael Chastney, says the government is working assiduously on implementing a structure which will aid St. Lucians in acquiring assistance when needed. Um, it's always uh, difficult when uh, these kinds of, of tragedies happen in our lives. Um, unfortunately, it's not something I can say to you that we can eliminate and it will never happen again. Um, but I want to assure all solutions that um, should they find themselves in this particular situation, like many have, whether it be for fires or whether it be for dire health care needs. And I know last year, we contributed over five and a half million dollars in supporting families um, with health care needs. Uh, that we're here to help you. I think that my government also recognizes that we have to be able to put a better system in place to be able to help people. So the same way for um, health insurance, which we're looking to introduce next year, it's certainly in terms of trying to help people to be able to have their own home insurances. Um, so that they can pick themselves up by themselves and, and, and move on. But in the meanwhile, I think that we're very um, happy that the government is in a position to be able to facilitate people like Ursula um, who have been affected. Ursula Hippolyte, who lost her home to the blaze 11 days ago, says that she is grateful for the generosity and kindness shown to her by the Ancillary Canneries MP and her fellow constituents. I thank Lord, life of breath. Thank you, Lord. And on behalf of my family and friends, I thank all of you. Thank you. The wooden dwelling in Otabo and Surrey went up in flames at approximately 11.19 on Thursday morning, the 7th of November, 2019. None of the six residents were seriously harmed in the fire. Russell Lord for the HDS News Force.